sent uh isn't Nebula the one who sent the bows into uh to losers? I don't remember honestly. But that doesn't matter right now. What matters right now is that this is happening and losers fight. Oh us. yeah. They're fighting This is happening. They're fighting for their opportunity to face uh Roots. We could see Nebula go for the run back, but we could also see the bows. A random uh we're gonna one see, on random one. Are we gonna see a Pac-Man win this tournament? Could we see uh an unranked uh Michigan player? Well, not unranked, but non-PR Michigan player beat three in a row. What is no, that two, blue, purple Pikmin doing? Can we talk about that? He was freaking out. We've that, seen, we've that, seen hydrant was, that hydrant was giving him a... Oh, look at that. What, why does the hydrant give the Pikmin seizures? Look at that. I mean, the hydrant is a weird... It's it's the jankiest... It's one of the jankiest things about this entire game. I'll I guess the Pikmin's AI wasn't designed and around the hydrant. I don't think many things were designed around this hydrant other than maybe... Uh, Pac-Man's fruit, but that's Pac-Man about it. Pac-Man himself. But already showing up. Uh, Nebula, showing that he's not playing any games, giving Bows the work. 89-59, to 59, not much of a lead, but look at this man, being able to get dash oh, attacks, oh, throwing at the oh, bell right oh, there. he got the bell again, this but man he keeps threw on doing it immediately, which was probably not a very good idea. Down to it is one of your best 50-50s if you're, uh, if you're Olimar, because down to it has this weird pop-up. It oh, knocks yeah. them up. That means you can fair early on, and later on you can 50-50 into an up air. That and feel when uh, Pac-Man and Olimar have the exact same down tilt. I mean, not too much. I mean, it looks the same. Would you get eaten, or would you rather get headbutted? Um, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. All right, so you're thinking because you're into four. I understand, but the nice Wait, trade. What? The nice trade, but unfortunately, Pac-Man's going to be able to win. Who's going to be on the winning end of that? Pac-Man. And instead, uh, the huh? He threw it out, but immediately that up, uh, up smash clanked with it. And instead, he's winning this. Ooh, See ooh, that height, that hydrant combo. Hydrant combos are hype, and by that I mean comboing directly out of hydrant. It's like combi comboing out of DDD's Gordo. Ooh, it's trying to go for the smash attack the because the problem is Pac-Man can't spike because you know. Ooh, oh, the forward smash, being able to come out. You know, honestly, I kind of feel like, I, I don't know how to put this. Back in the day, when I used to play, uh, oh. when I used to play as Olimar for a week, I always found purple to be the hardest to use. But then I realized it makes, uh, it makes Olimar a little bit more of a normal character with normal range, and that's not, that's not something I really want. But at the same time, if you're able to manage it really well, you can get really nice knockback and you can kill, and that's, right. that's something you just want. That's all. But. Bringing us to a close set, already even, but now seems like Bows is in the uh, in the advantage state right now. Bows might want to pull out one more Pikmin. Bows, uh, there we go. But it's a white, unfortunately. The white yeah. is the worst, easily, even though it has its own advantages, it like has the range. Like, it has tons of range, it has uh, tons of uh, grab damage. Or pummel. Pummel damage, yeah. Uh, blue is the grab one. Even though I only made this character for a week, I kind of understand exactly what each Pikmin does. Mostly. I don't really know much about blue. Can we see... Throw. Can we Look at that! Look at that! Can exactly we see, what you're talking about! Can we see grab on the hydrant to up throw to hydrant water to down air kill confirm, please? I think I'll cry instead. If that <laughs> happens. But, uh, honestly, I feel like yellow is a little more underrated. Oh, he's oh. going for the grab! Get he him! Try, he tried get him to go with for that the, back throw! What he tried to do... I, I understand exactly what he tried to do. He tried oh, to go for the setup, one. but unfortunately... He didn't Elf, DI right. Elf is good. I'm gonna have to move down. I got you. I can come around. I, I wasn't sure. Are you actually now? No. Okay. No, no, don't worry. I'm watching from the sides. I got you. Okay, I need to. Uh, hey, uh. Are you walking guys... around around? Are you guys going in here today? What do you mean? No, no idea. Uh, I have zero idea. Well, Call me Ronda Rousey because I'm about to square up on some people. Cause I, ca I kind of got to know ahead of time. That's fine. What's going on now? I want to know if uh, you guys are going somewhere. Excuse me. We usually are. Okay. But I'm but not sure where it is this time. No, I'll, let you I'll take care of this. Thank you. So, getting into second game, it looks like Nebula is already on an amazing lead right now. We got 72 to 10. That's crazy, because uh, you usually expect the bows to do a little more combo, 
uh, combo moves because I feel like he goes in a little harder than Yanni, but Yanni's a lot safer, which actually leads him to a lot more advantage options. So if I'm saying anything weird, I'm cleaning. Whoops. But anyways, uh, shoot, okay, I look um, up and I see him shooting out a cannonball. What are you doing? He's shooting out a cannonball. That's the uh, best mix-up. He brought out a trampoline right there. Can we get a right back there. throw just to disrespect? That's actually oh, kind of crazy. He tried to do fair to key, but it didn't work because he was because he landed on the ground. It mostly only works in the air. But I just want to touch on this, what I saw earlier. Up being right there so he could get out of it and instead force Yanni up so uh, Nebula could escape. That was really smart. Oh Look yeah, no, man. he's trying to KO him. Oh, oh he did with a the hydrant. <laughs> then again, 162, really high up. The hydrant has some stupid knockback. That was really and he smart. Didn't, and I, I feel like he could have DI'd out of that. Like, usually if you don't see the red... The red oh, he's got the key! He's got the key! Yeah, this man does that a lot. He's able to just bounce it off the wall. Yeah, with there's any of certain stages where it's easier. Dreamland... Oh, no! Dream uh, he, he's got it back! Yo, you mind uh, yelling a little more? No, no, you mind Get yelling a, a little less? Oh, he lost it. Please. I don't think we want to hurt the no, ears of the audience. No, the key, it's just that I'm hyped for the key. Yeah, oh, he almost got it. Down. it. Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, my, uh, ooh, he tried. He tried again. Oh, he's, he keeps on Oh, the heavy the... armor prevented him from going into the rest of the move. It's so weird because this is honestly, Bowser Jr. is such a bad character, but he has so much going for him. He has super armor, yeah, and one of his most punishable moves. Yeah, and he has, it's not super armor, it's heavy armor. Heavy armor, so that means he's completely immune to damage. No, heavy armor means mm -hmm. that... Not immune, but... It means that a strong enough attack will still go through it. It's like Bowser's tough guy. Yeah. Mm. But even still, that's oh. a really nice advantage, and 133 to 0, that's terrible. But it's completely possible. You know but, what this game is? This game is all about rage. This game is all about set using setups. It's a strings. Oh, thanks to rage. Yeah. Oh, that's something that Nebula does a lot. He's able to trap you and think that he does he's going to. Oh, look at this man. He taunted on this man. Is that King K? Rool? He's wiling on this man. He's wiling on him. Ooh, bodied, absolutely destroyed. But. Uh, it looks like <laughs> Nebula's. Uh, it looks like Bowser is, is just laughing it off a little bit, but no doubt if that were I me, too. no doubt if that were me, I'd be a little more than just shaken up right there. Jigglypuff. I think he's giving up. He's giving up. Not giving up, but I he's think gonna he's gonna use uh, Jigglypuff, but only he's either, rest. This man's either given up or he's decided completely to just go for the secondary pick because maybe the secondary. Is yeah, enough? the secondary, which also happens to be the worst character in the game. Hey, someone out there argues Zelda, even though I disagree with them. It's completely possible Zelda's the worst. Uh, no, no, no. Oh man, look at this man! Zelda is definitely not the worst. He just kept it off stage. I'm sure, with that Zel I'm sure Zelda has a good matchup against Puff. <laughs> uh, no, it's even. Oh, of course. Her best matchup is against uh, Ganondorf. Oh. Yeah, Ganondorf. Uh, Definitely. Um, uh, uh, we do use rollout. Okay, so uh, if I'm gonna be honest about this matchup, this is terrible for Jigglypuff. Why? Because she doesn't have much to do because against getting Jigglypuff. that walled out. And it's not just Jigglypuff. We gotta say a little more than that. And even though Jigglypuff has really nice aerials, or at least nice aerial damage, and her back air can kill forward air trains, there's a. Oh. Ah! <laughs> we don't use rollout. I wonder if he would have clashed with it if he did use it. If he, oh, forward air, killing. No, that's back air. Oh, back air. But like I said, the arrows are going to be able to kill. But uh, but the thing about uh, thing about Jigglypuff is that she can kind of get mollywopped. It. She can kind of get mollywopped. It. Hello. It's called it. They call it an it. It can yeah. get just absolutely. They call all Pokemon it. It can just get completely just walled out thanks to all these fruits. Thanks to the Which water. Which is ironic, considering Jigglypuff was the creator of the Wall of Pain. In Melee. Mm, but, uh... Something that's definitely not easy about this matchup for Jigglypuff is that these aerials are just much faster than what Jigglypuff has, except yeah, maybe Yeah, and Porter. then there's that! Oh! oh he, he wasn't fast him. enough. But if he, wa if he was or extended it a little more, he easily could have killed. That was crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I wonder if maybe... He could have, uh, yeah, if he could have extended it, he would probably hit him while he's in hit stun. 
if we get one more Nair edge guard, I think that's completely it. Yeah, I think Nair's going to just KO Jigglypuff outright. But the bell is also here, and it's stupid. And he tried to do something, but it didn't work. Jigglypuff just not, uh, the bow is just... That's it. <laughs> that ha it happens like that sometimes. The thing it really do be like that. The though. thing about Nebula that's really smart about him is that he's able to go for something 